Welcome back to the show, my friend. Hollanders coach ahead of the Super Rugby, which kicks off this weekend. G'day, Clark. Hey, on, mate. Very well, thank you. All right, Saturday night for you guys against the Blues. That's a hell of a way to start the competition, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is. It's a good good start for us. Obviously, that was our, our last team we played last year, so um, we'll get a good gauge of where we're at pretty early in the year. Where are you at? Uh, where we're at, we've um, uh, quite, well, well, we say quietly confident. We've had um, a, a good preparation a bit longer than we've had in the last few years, so we've had time to, I guess, grow our game. Um, two pre-season games that we've learned a lot out of, so um, it's a matter of, I guess, being able to change intensities leading into, well, we know the Blues are going to be pretty good, so, uh, well, probably better than pretty good. But uh, we'll see where we're at. Clark, I was raising this on Monday. I think it was Monday we had him on. Yeah, Monday or Tuesday we had him on the program. Uh, just about, you know, what is a coach, what are you looking at in those preseason games? Well, you, you obviously try not to give too much away around how you, you're uh, trying to play the game, but you've still got to get in what you need that you've been working on. So um, probably just executing what you've set out. Um, I know teams all play a similar game, but we all a wee bit different inside the game. So just the, the, the small areas we've tried to adapt, um, just making sure that they're working. Is it still a simple game for you? The way that you prepare, the way you coach? Well, I remember you are talking to a prop. So <laughs> it is, for me, it's simple. <laughs> Set piece is still really important. Um, territory is really important. But uh, understanding, uh, especially our home games, uh, they're, they're faster than the normal game. So being able to execute at speed and into space is still really important for us as well. I ask you that question because we can overthink and overcomplicate things. And it's great to hear you say that. I mean, rugby is a very simple game. And, and so when you're looking at the start of the season, do you look at it in terms of groups of games? Do you look at it in terms of let's get the first one out of the way and what do I learn from that? Or do you look at it, do you go, okay, these first two or three games, how do you break it down? Well, our, our season's um, pretty easy to chop up. So our, our first three games are the Blues at home, the Crusaders in Melbourne and the Chiefs in Hamilton. So we'll have a pretty good uh, showing of where our game is at. Once we play those three teams, they're obviously, um, you know, three of the top teams in the comp. Uh, two finalists and one semi-finalist from last year that um, have did a very good preseason. So those first three games are going to be an opportunity to uh, see where we're, our boys are at. Clark Dermody, Honda's coach with us. Matt Henry will join us, people at 2.05. I don't want to start any conspiracy theories, mate, but I tell you what, I think you've got the toughest draw for the first three games. I think that's pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't see it that way. We, you know, it's a, a chance to really test ourselves early in the season. Um, obviously, the game to Melbourne for the Super Round is the Crusaders' home game. Last year, it was our home game playing the Brumbies. So, um, I think it's a, a bonus that uh, it's not our home game going there. And then, uh, obviously, the Chiefs in Hamilton is uh, a, a good test as well. And post that, we'll know where our game's at and then we're leading into a, a, a bit of a run of home games that um, hopefully our game's in a good place for. Clark, I'm not going to ask you anything about Ian Foster or the All Black coaching situation. I'll be hopefully the only one that talks to you that doesn't ask that because it's not your... Well, I mean, it is probably your business as much as it's my business, but it's not your business right now. But what I want to ask about is in terms of the All Blacks, do you say anything to your players? Everyone knows what the carrot is at the end of the year. What is available? What you know? What can be accomplished? That you know the goals that you can set and the heights you can reach. Do you talk to your players about that? About the fact that look, there is so much to play for, not in just this comp, but looking long term at that. Or is that not a conversation that you have? Uh, not not out now. Not to the whole squad. I feel like the the All Blacks World Cup squad would be pretty settled. There'd be guys on the fringe of that. We've obviously got guys that want to be in that team. Um, I think it's important that they don't try and make that team in week one. I think it's a, a matter of being able to execute week on week uh, and proving that they're the person to be in that, in that team. So, yeah, try not to make a big deal about it. It's just making sure that, uh, obviously, the old age, if you play well for us, then um, 
they'll, they'll pick you. And it'll take care of itself. Some of the players, like I, I look at Ethan De Groot last year and just think what a fantastic success story that, you know, this this young man was. Um, and also the fact that he faced some adversity too. He was told by the selectors, hey, you're not doing this or you're not doing that. Or we need you to do that. Um, who else have you got in your squad that could just be fringe, could be potential that you want us to keep an eye on this year? No, I reckon we've got some some guys that aren't far away. We've got, obviously, Josh Dixon trained with the All Blacks at lock, uh, travelled to South Africa. Um, Putty Putty Parkinson, who's one of the biggest guys in New Zealand rugby, is finally back fit, ready to play at lock as well. Um, and also uh, Marino McKelly too, at number eight. A great year for us last year. Uh, might offer us something a bit different to the international stage. Um, we also got Billy Harmon, who's our captain, who toured with the All Blacks last year, but um, wasn't able to play. So there's definitely guys knocking on the door, but uh, like I say, that All Black squad looks pretty settled. Uh, we'll probably take uh, either a very, very outstanding year or maybe a few injuries for some of those guys to be knocking on the door. Having said that, though, Locke is one position. I um, mean, we all know that. We also know that Brody's off at the end of the year. I don't know how much longer Sam's got. The fact that you've got two big heifers on your side is damn good news, mate. Well, it's great for us. They've, they've, they've worked well together in the preseason. Um, I know that Josh is enjoying having Putty back, obviously, after a year out with injury. Um, and our team's obviously better when those two are on the field just through their work rate and their, I guess, their size. Um, I know the front row are looking forward to having them behind them as well. This is Clark Dermody with us. In terms of what your own expectations are, do you do you have a, you know a, a set of I suppose a bar or a KPIs? Or does that involve a certain amount of victories? Does it involve making the playoffs? Explain all that to us. Um, without obviously giving too much away, we want we want to be in the playoffs. So we, we've made the playoffs the last few years. Um, but haven't quite been in a position to test the top teams. So it's a matter of, I guess, growing our game through this season, picking up enough wins to be in and around those playoffs and then actually being able to test those teams in that to advance, um, not just be the first victim to the top teams. I, I feel like we have got the squad to be able to do it this year, but obviously uh, it's a long season, so um, hopefully we can get off and running against which is a very, very good Blues team uh, on Saturday night. Well, we hope to keep in touch with you right throughout the season. I remember when you, the appointment was made, uh, getting you on and uh, saying that I believe you're the right guy at the right time um, and congratulating you at that stage. Finally, then, just a quick one. I mean, what have you learned about yourself, mate, over the last few months? Uh, I've learned that I can operate on a bit, bit less sleep than what I was used to. I think Go on. that's probably the main thing. There's always something going on. Um, Oh, no, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying um, working with a new coaching group and um, enjoying, I guess, sort of a bit more managerial role with the players. Uh, they, uh, they've done well. The pre-season's been great. Um, just looking forward to getting going. Always a pleasure, mate. And I'll tell you what, that is a very proactive, insightful brain for a prop. I think you're underdoing yourself a little bit. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's all in there. <laughs> Thanks, Clark. Appreciate your time as always, mate. Thanks. No worries. See you, mate. All right. Clark Germany is with us.